Okay, so <clears throat> babies, this is your video for today. Um, I need for you to work through these problems and go ahead and just put your work in Book Creator. All right. So this new lesson is about adding and subtracting rational expressions. So what you're going to learn is how to add and subtract rational expressions and how to find extraneous solutions or what could possibly be extraneous solutions. Okay, your key vocab, and y'all make sure y'all write this down. Difference means the result of subtraction. Sum means the result of addition. Extraneous solution is what makes the denominator equal zero or in parentheses what makes it undefined because if you get zero in the denominator that makes it undefined greatest common factor is the biggest number um, a group of numbers have in common and numerator is the top part of the fraction and a denominator is the bottom part of the fraction and none of these words are new to you guys okay make sure you write this stuff down or make sure you type it in book creator so here we're going to try these together and then i'm just going to scroll through the ones that i want you to do in book creator and you could do it on your paper and then take a picture in book creator and post it to that page Okay, so this says simplify, operate the extra expression, and give the extraneous solutions. All right, so this is a whole number added to a rational expression. So we're going to take this whole number and write it as a fraction. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, and here we're adding these two together. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply the denominators. And we're going to get that to be 1x. Then the next thing we're going to do is multiply that numerator with this denominator. And we get 5 times x. Plus, keep the sign that's in the middle. And then we're going to multiply this denominator by that numerator. And we get 3 times 1. And so this ends up 5x plus 3 over x. And we tend not to write the one because it's understood. So we simplified. This is in its simplest form. We operated. And now we're going to give the extraneous solution. So or what's going to make our denominator undefined? So we're going to say we're going to take this denominator and set it equal to zero. All right. And so we know x can't equal zero. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to go and do this one. We're going to do 6 over 1 minus 2 over x. All right. We're going to multiply the denominators. So we get 1x. Then we're going to multiply the numerator with the other denominator. We get 6x. Keep the sign in the middle. And then we're going to multiply the denominator by the other numerator, 1 times 2. So we get 6x minus 1 times 2 is negative 2 over 1x. <laughs> Excuse me, babies. And then you're going to get your extraneous solution to be, well, remember we don't write 1x. We're just going to write x because nobody, everybody understands that's an understood 1. So you don't have to put it in front. You can if you want to, though. So the extraneous solution here is going to be x equals 0. Take the denominator, set it equal to 0. And so we know x can't 
equal zero. And remember, and here's a key word, extraneous solution means that um, the denominator is a, is a number that will make the denominator, and this is important, so write it down, denominator undefined. It's a number that's going to make the denominator undefined. And what does undefined mean? It makes the denominator equal zero. And remember with rational expressions, we, we don't want zero in the denominator. Okay, so I want you to try these four and put the answers in Book Creator. You can write them on your paper and put the answer in Book Creator. Now let's try this one together. And y'all can pause on those questions. Okay, so let's try this one. So we're going to do the same thing, simplify, operate, get the extraneous solutions. So in this case, we're going to multiply the denominators. Since they're both fractions, we can skip that first step. We're going to say, oops, 6 times 2 is 12. Well, we'll just do 6 times 2. We'll write it like this first. And then we're going to multiply this. So we get 6 times x. Keep the plus sign. Then we multiply these, and then we get 2 times 1. That becomes 6x plus 2 over 12. Do not re-simplify this, because what will happen is you'll get the original back. Okay, so with our ES, we're going to say there is none, because if I set 12 equal to 0, that's not possible, so we're good. There's no variable down there. So now we're going to do the next one. We're going to say 6 times 4. And then we're going to say 4 times x, keep the minus sign. And then we're going to say 6 times 1. And that ends up 4x minus 6 over 24. And our extraneous solutions would be none because we don't have this equal to no variable in the denominator. All right, I want you to try these and make sure you put your answer on your paper, show me the work, and put it in, just take a picture of it and stick it in Book Creator. All right, so now let's try these. Same, same, simplify, operate, give the extraneous solution. So I'm just going to rewrite this to 4x minus 1 plus 6 over 1. I'm going to write that as a fraction. So here, I'm going to multiply my denominators. So we get 1, and this is a binomial, so make sure you put it in parentheses. And then we're going to say 2 times 1. Keep that plus sign, plus 6 times 4x minus 1. And now I'm just going to go do the math. So I get 2 plus, and then make sure you distribute. So we get 24x plus, is that a plus? Oh, nope, my bad. Minus 6 over 1 multiplied by anything. It's just going to be that anything. And then we're going to keep on um, doing the math. 2 minus 6. I'm going to put the x first, though. So I'm going to say 24x minus 4. I combine like terms. Over 4x minus 1. Okay? So... We're finished with that, and let's see. Can a numerator be simplified any further? Then yes, and if you remember our greatest common factor, this is 4, 6x minus 1 over 4x minus 1. And this is a binomial at the bottom that goes together, so do not try to... Um, simplify this binomial goes together. Only way it can go away if there's another 4x minus 1 at the top. So we got the answer. We simplified. We got that answer. And so now we're going to go to our extraneous solution. We're going to take that denominator, set it equal to 0. And then from there, I'm going to say plus 1, plus 1, 4x equals 1, divide by 4, divide by 4, so x equals 1 4 and that's our extraneous solution that would be an extraneous solution so we're going to say x can't equal 
1 4 all right that's going to make that denominator undefined and we're done for that one okay so we're going to go up to this one so I'm going to say 1 over 3x minus 1. I'm following the same instructions, and I'm going to write that 2 as a fraction, 2 over 1. Then I'm going to go through and do my thing. So I'm going to multiply these, multiply the denominator, so 3x minus 1 times 1. And then you're going to get 1 times 1, keep that minus sign, and then you get, and I'm, I put the monomial in front, but make sure you put that binomial in parentheses so you know they go together. So we get 1 minus 6x plus 2. Make sure you distribute the negative 2 to both. Distribute the negative 2 to both of those numbers. Make sure you're careful. And then 1 times this is just going to be 3x minus 1. And we're going to go through combine like terms. Negative 6x plus 3 over 3x minus 1. And then we're going to factor out the greatest common factor. So we get negative 2x plus 1. And remember, I taught you last week how to do the greatest common factor. So we get 3x minus 1. And remember, 3x minus 1 is a binomial, so we can't break it up. And then there, we've simplified. So this is the answer to the question. This was the answer to the simplify and operate for the last one. And then here, to get the extraneous solution, or what's going to make this undefined, would be 3x minus 1 equals 0 plus 1 plus 1, 3x equals 1, divide into 3, divide into 3, x equals 1 third, and then from there, we're just going to say x can't equal 1 third, and then we're finished. Alright, so I want you guys to do these four, make sure you take a picture, put it in Book Creator, and now... Let's try these, and y'all can always go back and pause. And let's try these. Same situation, operate, simplify, get the extraneous solutions. So, I'm going to multiply the denominators. Make sure when you have binomials that you don't combine them. Just write them like this. Do not combine those binomials. Just leave it just like that. And then... We're going to go x times x minus 5 plus 4 times x plus 1. So here we're going to distribute in the numerator. Yeah, you can go ahead and distribute in the numerator, but don't distribute in the denominator. Minus 5x plus 4x plus 4 over leave the denominator exactly like it is and then from here in the numerator combine like terms so x squared these two go together so we get negative 1x plus 4 over x plus 1 x minus 5 now we need to attempt to simplify this numerator well, we don't know any factors of 4 that would give us negative 1. So, um, we can leave it as that. You can try to factor it and, and you will see that you won't get anything that multiplied to be um, equal 4. Multiply to give you 4, but add to give you negative 1 because the factors of 4 are 4 and 1, 2 and 2. So, you just you leave it alone. It can't be simplified in a numerator. So to get our extraneous solutions, then we're going to do x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 5 equals 0. So minus 1 minus 1 will get x equals negative 1 plus 5 plus 5 x equals 5. So you're going to have um, x can't equal negative 1 and 5. And then we're done.
Alrighty, so let's go to this next one. Multiply those denominators. Remember, they're binomials, so do not combine them because if you do at the end, we just gotta have to undo it anyway if we do it, if we combine them, if we actually multiply them. So here we're gonna do x, x minus 1, keep the sign that's in the middle, plus. 3 times x plus 2. So here we get x squared minus 1x plus 3x plus 6 all over x plus 2, x minus 1. So we have x squared plus 2x plus um, 6 over x plus 2. 2x minus 1. Alright, so are there any factors of 6 that will add to give us 2? Those factors are 6 and 1, 3 and 2, so we can't factor the top, so we leave it alone. So we got it in its simplest form. So now we're just going to say our extraneous solutions are... And y'all circle your answers on your paper for me so I can see it easily. So extraneous solutions would be x plus 2 x minus 1, set them equal to 0. So we will have minus 2, minus 2, x equals negative 2, plus 1, plus 1, x equals 1. So you're going to go and write x can't equal negative 2 and 1. Okay? Alrighty, so let's keep this boat going. So it's your turn. Try these out and make sure you put the answers in book credit. You can pause this or you know you can always go get your PDF and the questions are on there. Okay, and that's that's it. So you can just simply write how do we simplify or operate rational expressions. And see you guys on, on Wednesday. Bye.